Hi guys, I'm gonna make a vi oh shit, I have my okay. I'm gonna make a video. Ah, hey guys, what's up? I woke up a minute ago, but then I fell back asleep, and then I got some coffee, and now I'm here. So hello. Ah, probably not gonna do any AI art right now. I probably will do some later. I'll make a second video. It's just I kind of want to go get some punching in. I feel like my punchings. My punchers, my, my my fists are feeling better, and you guys probably don't remember, but for like a year, year and a half, I had that like fucking open sore on my knuckle that kept opening because I kept punching instead of letting it heal. They're 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 done and healed now, so it's time to start punching again. So there's that. But um, I want to do that, and then I'm gonna start. Then I'll do AI art later. Priorities, priorities. All right. Now, originally I wasn't even going to make this video. I was just going to make AI art later. The main reason why I want to do AI art, like I was going to take a break from AI art, but look, I don't know what it is with the algorithms. I think there's more, I think they already have the ability to understand our speech even when we, like look. With things like Alexia and whatnot, they can like have our voice and our th our thoughts through our voice that we speak to ourselves and whatnot when no one's listening, <sighs> recorded in a database for you know purposes of <sighs> for marketing purposes, right? Anyways, so I love the opinion that even without our consent, they're using that shit on us, like. I don't want to even bring, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to talk about this dumb bitch, but like one of the reasons why I know some of the things that I know about Tiffany is because her cookies give it all away. All right. Some of them are just educated guesses and then turn out to be right because her cookies give it all away because when she gives me all these numbers of hers that are on the same phone device she uses that is synced to all her other accounts, the cookies, they even look every single time you connect to the internet. You go into a database. One of the reasons why they call me Swamp Fox is because one of the things, it's, it's like a, in Firefly. You know, in the movie Serenity, when they're like, oh, we gotta go, and then they launch the beacons, and but they launch six beacons, so they can't tell which, which, which tracer beacon to follow. It's like that. They have a thing to where they record every single, allegedly, they record every single phone, email, phone conversation, email, you know, like, nothing's ever deleted. Like, like, if your brothers, sisters, friends, nephews, nieces makes, you know, logs onto a web page from your Wi-Fi connection, that's logged, right? It's all logged. So all you can really do is obfuscate. I don't know. That's so I don't want to get into it. It's too early to get into this shit right now. It's my second waking up. Yeah, I woke up. What about second waking up? You don't care about Pippin's second breakfast? Whatever I was going to talk about, I, 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 I don't know. Uh, a AI art shit, okay. AI art shit. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remember back when I said I have more respect for people who sell their own bodies than someone else's body and all that bullshit? Well, wouldn't you know, a whole bunch of the, um, and in my opinion, I think they're starting to wise up. <coughs> I think all like the the OnlyFans bitches, even the ones I didn't like help get off of OnlyFans, they're starting to like transition to like gaming and shit like that, which I don't really even call gaming nowadays is not gaming like 20 years ago. Like I think the reason why people watch the f one of my I think it could be the one that's only two minutes long, but one of my Final Fantasy Tactics has like 45 views, which is a lot for me. Probably because I'm actually playing the game. 
It's it's a it's a, it's a complex game with lots of secrets and hidden levels. I'm act- there's one of them that I I wanted to save and reload. I can go back to it any time. There's like one hidden boss, or one hidden fight where you get a, a bunch of behemoths, and if you win, then you get a behemoth in your party. I died. I didn't save it and load it. I don't care because like I, you get too many special. I have too many characters right now as it is. It's uh, so it's so stupid. Fucking war twins. I don't even want to get into it. Oh, they don't do anything. They don't do anything, and you get them at level 1. You're level, like, 40, and they're level 1. They don't do anything. And they have the shittiest natural ability. Anyways. Some of these, like, sex worker porn star ladies, they're for AI art. I even saw one. What? Pretty sure matched with me on Tinder like two years ago and then unmatched with me real fast. And I was like, whatever. <coughs> was talking about how um, um, AI art was like, I'm an artist. You know, because like, I guess uh, porn didn't work out. I was like, I'm an artist. And even I don't mind AI art because AI art something or other i didn't give a shit i was just like oh so you're not doing porn anymore that's nice the thing is like ai art is like a thing what ai art look what i was going to probably do later is i'm probably going to show you guys some ai art retarded and then show it when you put some effort into it because even like i don't have to dig around for it like God damn it, I'll just do it now. I'll do a quick one now. I'll do a quick one now. Okay, so. We're going to do some bad AI art, and then we'll put some effort into it. Okay, so, so, um... Uh, we're gonna do Metal Ocalypse. <sighs> How the fuck do you spell Metal Ocalypse? Whatever those things are on the Opera browser thingy, they came with it. I never, I never go to any of those things, so... The shit that I was saying about cookies, let me tell you what I meant by it, okay? And I really don't give a shit. So, when Tiffany first slid into my DMs and started giving me all her numbers and all that bullshit, right? My cookies used to never be anything but, like, video games and shit like that, right? And, like, cybersecurity and shit like that. And then Tiffany slid into my DMs, and now I'm getting shit like sex toys but like for females and uh like things for like muscle dudes and shit like that and like basically girl smut so this bitch is super repressed because she's super confined to her quarters all the time and all she can do is look at fucking things online and fucking imagine shit and it's probably how she found me she probably wanted to go somewhere and was like oh i can't do anything oh everyone's so mad at me everyone needs my money and then fucking she saw me on youtube and was like this guy tells his family to fuck off i wish i could tell my family to fuck off this guy does whatever he wants to i wish i could do whatever i want to fuck off that's how that's all you gotta do is fuck off just tell people to get the fuck out of your face and all that bullshit it's no fucking secret. It's like, hey, do you want to do something that doesn't benefit you? No. Oh, but we'll like you better. Fuck off. I don't like you at all. I don't care if you, fuck if you like me or not. Look. Metalocalypse. My fave show on Adult Swim Old. Bam. Let's see what it comes up with. This is going to suck so much ass. I can already tell. By the way, uh, no one... I'm not any more freaked out that Tiffany was like 
stalking me on social media or whatever you call it because apparently that's what social media is for so one of my buddies was like uh we're gonna go back to newark actually and i was like uh why, why he's like because actually remember everyone was like telling me about i kept telling you that's not my instagram like i and I, then i finally made an instagram for me that buddy was like we're gonna go to new york because i've been scoping out asian strippers and we're gonna i know just what you like and we're gonna go to new york and we're gonna find a bunch of asian strippers that's what we're gonna do and i was like not until i get my silver back and i was like all right all right because i keep saying i'm not going to new york like tiffany officially invited me up for coffee it's like i'm officially inviting you up for coffee like i'm not spending five hundred dollars to go have coffee with you i have five hundred dollars and I could get coffee with you. I'm just not going to. Why do I have to sign in again? <sighs> we'll just do this later. Okay, so that's regular. That is no effort. That is what... Look, again, if you have porn stars, strippers, sex workers who I have more respect for than I do... I mean, I, and I'm not saying, like, they're angels. I'm saying on a case-by-case -case basis than I do for a politician. Keep in mind, everyone is BFing Rand Paul and all that bullshit. Remember when the election was all that bullshit and then uh, uh, Rand Paul was... Because that's not the point of what I'm saying. And then all, and keep, keep in mind, Rand Paul is supposed to be for your rights, and he's, you know, fighting for you, and, you know, he's against the mainstream, and all that bullshit. And he was hiding under the table, crying like a pussy. Okay? Because some people in Viking hats and, and MAGA flags were parading around in the Capitol. Okay, they have armed guards, and he was hiding. I'm not. I'm not making a, a a debate one way or the other on it. Okay, that's two years later. It's beside the point. It's ridiculous. So you can you can you can legitimately say that is no way, shape, or form a speedy and fair trial. You have a right to a speed. Whether you hate them or love them, you have a right to a speedy and fair trial in this country, and that is a, not a speedy and fair trial. That's all I'm saying. All right, regardless of your opinion on it. All right. And that motherfucker, who everyone is BFing like he's some kind of savior, was hiding under the table, shitting his pants. Alright? Fuck him. I got more respect for fucking sex workers than I do for Rand Paul. I got more respect for sex workers than I do for George Bush. I got more respect for sex workers than I do for Donald Trump. I got more respect for sex workers than I do for any fucking politician in the world. Because again, they're going to sell you their body. They're not going to sell you somebody else's body. And... For all the fucking church moms out there, I'm not telling you to go do that. I'm saying you're telling your kids to be like these people who are the ones that are creating the situations that force people into those situations where they do shit like sex work in the first place. If we were in tax to death, we would have more money to do things we want. We wouldn't have to do things we feel we need to. That's all I'm saying. And take that, it's like Dag Debrimi said. The tax collectors of this system turn an honest man into a smuggler. You can quote him on that. Dag Debrimi is awesome. Anyways. So this is what people are trying to say. Now this is, again, this looks good. Just, there's nothing wrong with that. That's pretty dope, right? I couldn't draw that, right? So what the AI algorithm did was like basically Google, like Fresco and El Dente or whatever the fuck, you know, you call the style of painting. And then it did that. It traced it. It essentially traced it. Okay. AI art is you telling it how and what to trace. Okay. So it's a combination of the two. I will say, I think I know what Asian stripper he's talking about. Um, it's not going to, I'm already going to tell you it's not going to work out because I don't pay for shit. So, I don't know what to tell you. Like, no, the number one way 
look, and look again, I'm not gonna get into it, but like I have no problem supporting you, and and uh, uh, like I'll make you comfortable, but uh, like it's not gonna be transactional. It's because I want to. Like Tiffany was coming at me like it was transactional. Like look at all the money I have. Therefore, you do what I want because I can. Like, bah, ha, ha, ha. Ten years ago. I did this, and now some manager gave me their money, and now I can do it to someone else. No, I'll be the manager, and I'll be the producer. I don't want to play that fucking game. It's, but no one's a manager, and no one's a producer. You produce your own shit, and stop preying on people. Fucking creepy weirdos. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like, people keep on asking me, like, how do I get all these, like, poor stars or, like, super hot, like... You don't become a stripper because you're ugly, at least not in the back in the day. They're like, how do you get all these like porn stars and strippers obsessed with you? I'm like, uh, I treat them nice. Or whatever you consider how I treat people. Like, if you piss me off, I'm, you're going to know about it. But if you just like want to chill out and smoke, we can do that. And, you know, if I can break my balls. Oh, fuck, I thought I had a fast enabled. This is stupid. See, this is why my fucking things take two hours doing AI shit. <sighs> God damn it! I read. I just... Stupid horseshit. Okay, so. I, what the fuck is this? What the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? What in the flying fuck? I'm gonna play, it's because the thing's not signed into. <laughs> Fucking, I'll play with this later. Was still going, and this is with fast enabled. Son of a bitch. Who cares, right? So you get it, right? Anyways, so then let's get that syntax and let's expand on it. Okay. My fave show on Adult Swim old. Okay, now we're just going to add. We're not going to do a whole session about. It. We're just going to do a quick example, all right? Now we're going to add twenty four. I forgot what K it doesn't stand for. There's other videos where they show you what all this shit means. I'm just kind of rolling with it. We're going to add um, anime style. We're going to uh, do... I like cyberpunk. Let's do steampunk. I'll really fuck with it. Steampunk. Steampunk. Then we'll do Duncan Phil's coffee and then we will do uh tech tech v4 means we're going to use the version 4 of the algorithm okay this is minimal ad additional syntax okay minimal additional syntax so again if people who have been like, damn, I could use this to better, to, to make money. Uh, and if they're the ones who are using art to make money and they don't view AI art as something negative, it's probably something positive. I'm just going to let you get, most of the time, people who are against something are the ones who are benefiting from its competitor. Just keep that one in mind. That is a significant difference, in my opinion, between the two. Do you see the difference between the algorithm? It is the same algorithm. 
But the syntax I inputted gave me a completely different picture. Let's expand on it a little bit more. Oh shit, you know what I left out? I left out Metalocalypse. My bad. So far it's not the same algorithm. I thought I copied and pasted it. You guys got me talking about stupid bullshit. There we go. That's still cool. I like them. Fuck you on Google. No, thank you. I do not want to be spied on through your ad servers. Thank you. There we go. This is with the old, see, there you go, there you go. It's kind of what I thought it was gonna look like anyways. So now we'll expand on this a bit more. They probably won't let me say things like murder face, murder face, murder face, which is actually the singer's name or the gu the guitar or the bass player's name. Instead of anime style, we're going to do uh, hardcore. No, they're going to do French shit then. What's up? Metal. Haggard. Style. Gothcore. Goth gore, metal apocalypse on Adult Swim. Blah. Um. Uh, food library. That's what they call the supermarket. The food library, because it has lots of food in it. It's all catalogs about what kind of food it is. I want to look at that now. Don't tell me what to do, because I don't have a bedtime. <gasps> What's this place called? This is, I believe, called Food Libraries. Food, food, food Libraries. Library. It's called Lib the grocery store, you douche bigs! I'm sorry about douche bigs. I get got low blood sugar. All right, here's the deal. We have to do our own shopping so we can make our own dinner like our regular jackoffs do. Now you're all in charge of putting together one dish. And don't just buy booze. That ain't food. What do you mean, booze ain't food? I'd rather chop off my ding-dong than admit that. You'd rather chop off your ding-dong than not drink? Yeah! Wow-wee! Wow-wee! Ding-dong than not drink? Yeah! Wow-wee! <laughs> Soup? No. Ah, that's a yes. <laughs> Whoa. 
not. Uh, hey, Toki, look inside of your basket. Guess what? You're in such a crappy mood to have ladies' tampons on side of it. And you buy them for yourself. Go have a conversation with all the ladies and tell them your problems. You ladies, squish car. No, I'm not! <laughs> Look inside of your basket. Guess what? You're in such a crappy mood. You have ladies' tampons on side of it. And you buy them for yourself. Go have a conversation with all the ladies and tell them your problems. You lady squish car. No, it's not. Two cups of rice. Okay, hold on now. So you're telling me that you put these little guys in boiling water and they shriek and they turn red and they die? Yes, sir. That is the most metal thing I ever heard in my whole life. High five. Price Jack! Clean up aisle six! Running body lips Oh, that's great. Stuff. Don't forget our special sale on every bone broken chicken! Hurry! Yeah. You'll get on Nathan. Enjoy your tasty hands, my face! I agree. I love to laugh. Hi. Hi. Guess what? You are a G milf. That is a grandmother that I would like to. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go back to. Velocalypse is awesome. If I recall, the reason why Adult Swim started to be horrible is because around the time that. The uh, Aqua Teen movie came out. Whoever was in charge of Adult Swim marketing at the time decided to rent a blimp and scatter New York City with a bunch of pamphlets. And on the one side, it had a radioactive symbol. Uh, and on the other side, it had a, a, like a ticket or a, an ad for the Aqua Teen movie. So they fired that guy because everyone in New York freaked out about it. But I thought it was hilarious. To be totally honest. And then I saw the movie. And the movie was awesome. Uh, oh man, the movie was so awesome. Wow, they did a couple of tech tech. I forgot what Q2 and C25 means. I'm going to look all that shit up later. I think I have to do shit like that to specify how many, like, number of people I want in it and shit like that. I technically haven't even read the manual yet. I've just, like, been pushing buttons and figuring out what they do by, uh... Uh, uh, trial and error. I'll read the manual later. Normally, after I beat a video game, I'll read the manual to see if I, uh, could have done it differently or missed anything, and, uh, uh, or if I get stuck really hard on it before I beat the game. Then I'll open up the manual. It's more fun to figure it out. Alright, anyways, food library. Uh, Aqua Teen. Hunger Force. Uh, what was that? Insanoflex! God damn, the Insanoflex is retarded. Hold on. I'm gonna play that song just because it's fucking retarded. It's hilarious. Yeah, and Sanoflex. What? Gore is banned?
drop punk. The Moody Knights! Spit Katas. <laughs> Pudding cups. There's probably like so many things that I'm like not getting. I just think it's funny. Actually, I kind of get some of them more now. But I'm a little bit older. Where is it? That's cool. Come on, man. But the point is that uh, AI art is actually art. All right. And Aqua Teen is hilarious. Uh, you know what was even better than that? Uh, 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 what was it? What was the Brack? Guys, remember the Brack Show? Brack Show, yeah. Man, this I shit. Mr. Dunderclays like you. No way, guys. That's the way I like it. I like you. Well, quit it. I can't, Zorak, <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Friendship is like an ointment. When you've been stung by 50 bees, <laughs> wherever you rub it, you know it feels better because it's a topical analgesic. I'm taking friends. Shut up. Now, why did Tanya Free Sour supposed to feed Mr. Tickles for breakfast? I forget. Free hands will fill him. Free hands will fill him. Why don't you feed him? Free hands. Thank you, Dark Bubble. Well, now get everybody's fish tasting mouths into the vehicle. We are all going to fish pockets. Fish pockets? All in a one word of the sea will be served a pot to me. Baked or broiled or lightly breaded. Just the thought makes me lightheaded. Now be a smart or sauce. Buster, have you finished your homework? Well, I... no. No homework, no fish pockets. Ah! Oh, I'm a jolly spot, and people call me bud. I live down in the mud with all the other tubers. Top that, gentlemen. Hey, I got another routine to try on you guys, okay? Brack, this has been going on for a week. I can't take it anymore. Now, Father. Go ahead, Brack. Sing us your little song. I'm hot for you, baby. I'm a pickle beet. I'm red but not embarrassed. And I am good with meat. Of course, I make an excellent boy. And I'm hot for you, baby. Well, you're no Zorak. Oh, man. I don't hang out with doll talkers. Ever. So long, wuss. Wait, don't go! Oh, man, what am I gonna do? You see, I laughed so hard I actually cried. Is red and kindly face. I can tell him anything. But then there's Zorak, he thinks I'm a baby. Yeah. But I'll show him that I'm not. All right. I made a decision. From this day on, I will stop talking to my beloved friend. Hippo. Not good enough. Get rid of it. Oh, man. That's the second mom I lost, and it's not even lunchtime. What are you talking about? I'll tell you, Dad, in song. Good old mom with cookie crumbs in her hair. I miss her so. Who's gonna acid wash my jeans? Gonna pork my pork and be it's getting boring, but you know it's not boring. It's Who will rinse my mustache clean? Wherefore? 
LeBron Lucas. Uh, the best. Oh, just a quick one. That's seven minutes, god damn it. There we go. I offended Billy, so uh, this is his trunk, so maybe I can get him out and ha take a chance and apologize to him just a little bit. Billy, are you okay? Okay, so gentlemen, what I want to do now is take the stocks and sell... Lucas? Ron? Hey, Ron, what are you doing? You're interrupting my meeting in there. You're in a meeting in the trunk? Yeah, I got my agent, my publicist, uh, my personal manager. Sounds like you got your own company. Uh, well, actually, it's a dummy corporation. <laughs> A dummy corporation? That's right, Ron. I am a young, urban, professional puppet. That makes me a yuppet. Okay, great, great. I brought you out because I wanted to apologize. <laughs> Could you get the phone in the trunk? Yeah, go ahead. It's right there. <clears throat> hello? Uh, yeah, hello. Hi, dog. Hello, hello, Billy. It's for you. I knew it was. Hello? Uh, hello, Billy. Giorgio. Giorgio, great. Did you get the stocks? Well, you keep working on it, Giorgio. Do it. All right. <clears throat> yeah. You're very serious about this business. I sure am. Okay, now what I was trying to say... <coughs> Could you get the phone again? I don't want to. Oh, please, Ron. Ha, 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 ha. Hello? Giorgio, good. You get him this time? Uh, good, Giorgio. That's great. Let's get together and do lunch. Milk and cookies on me. <laughs> it's an amazing phone. I know. Why isn't it uh, cordless? It's a trunk line. I see. Okay. <laughs> what I was about to say. Ron, Ron, I, I hate to interrupt, but uh, this is getting very schmaltzy, you know? And what I want to tell you is you have a corporation, too, do you not? Well, yes, I do. That's a, that's, that's a fact. I, I'm, I am incorporated for tax purposes. See, uh, I guess I would say limited in England. That's right. I understand. I bought you out. I beg your pardon. I bought you out. That was Giorgio, my stockbroker, and we got all your stock. So I now own you. <coughs> you don't mind if I disbelieve you. Oh, well, you want to talk to my attorney? What attorney? I'm not going to use the phone. No, he's in the trunk, Ron. He's right there. Little guy in a three-piece suit, get him out. This get trips me out so out hard. Hey, what are you doing? You're gonna drop me. This is your attorney? Uh-huh. Put him on my knee. <laughs> this little thing is your attorney? Tell him your name. Uh, Mr. Lucas. My name is Stanley. Your name is Stanley? That's correct. And you are Buffalo Billy's attorney? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, yes. Uh, Billy, I don't know what you're trying to pull, but uh, I saw your lips move. Uh, yeah, I did. This is like some, some little ventriloquist act. Uh, immaterial and irrelevant. I beg your pardon? Ron, legally, this little guy speaks for me. You tell him. Uh, Mr. Lucas, you as party of the first part and Buffalo Billy as party of the second, excuse me, excuse me, skip the legalese. What does this mean in normal, everyday English? He has you by the short and curlies. <laughs> I bought you out, Ron. Put me in the trunk. Put me in the trunk. Do it now. My boss is talking to me. You want to go in the trunk? Yeah, that's right. Hey, don't mishandle me. We'll sue. Lucas, Ron, hey, ow. Okay, all right, I'll remember this. That's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm, I'm sorry that you had to see this happen. This makes me feel very uncomfortable. We, we see, tend to live in a litigious society, and people are suing each other all the time, and it's so unnecessary. So, Billy, you have a good time with your company. I will just do an act, a closing bit, with Mr. Hand. Uh, hi, how you doing? I'm Mr. Hand. Ron. What, Billy? Uh, you can't use that voice. It's copyrighted. <laughs> Is that right? Uh-huh, sucker. Yeah. Well, I'll just say goodnight by myself. Uh, Ron? What is it? You're going to harass me some more? Are you coming to my meeting? You, you want me at the meeting? Uh-huh. Why? Well, because I like you. That's why I bought you out. You're my right-hand man. Literally. 
Now, get in the trunk. Well, what about the audience? Get in the trunk. Is it take the elevator Sorry. down? I'm sorry. I don't yeah. know what to do here. Now, take the stairs. Okay. Oh, I think the down. stairs. Oh, Ladies I thought I said elevator. We'll see you next week on the Ron Lucas Show. Ron? Yes. Take the lift. What lift? <laughs> TV used to be so awesome back in the day. You guys don't even remember. TV used to be so awesome, and they ruined it. Oh, is it still going? Uh, just do that so that way it stops. And whatever. That's how I end up getting tabs open all the time. I'll just get the noise to stop, and then I'll open up a new tab. Anyways, so yeah. But as you can see, you actually have... I mean, it's not difficult, but there is some thought you have to put into it. And if you want to get specifics, you do have to... Like, Tiffany was asking me if I was making a comic. I mean, I could if I wanted to. It wouldn't be that hard. You would just make a character, and then you would just add to this some more. Insane and flex, blah, 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 blah. And then scenario number one. Scenario number two. Scenario number three. Variation four of it, variation five of it. Make it a, you know, make your own, choose your own adventure book, shit like that. I just not particularly don't want to do it at the moment. And, you know, I'm not, you know, so I'm not going to. Yeah, that's cool as shit. That is cool as shit. That is really cool. Anyways, uh, this isn't a 44 minutes. Oh my god! You know, honestly, do you want to know why it's 44 minutes? When was the last time? When was the last time it was like that? Now I don't remember. All right, Look, I'm just gonna end it. But everyone's like, everyone like thinks I'm like mad. Or whatever. I'm not mad. This is like, to be quite honest, uh, this is like, look. If I have to be totally honest, every single time that my dad would get super duper pissed off or super super irate, it always started with your mother and her sister or your mother and her friends. It's like church and all that bullshit, right? So I just don't particularly see a problem with not dealing with any of that stupid bullshit. At the same time, I haven't said I haven't said one thing to her other than have a good day, and then I was like, "These are the friends you want to hang out with or be associated with." You know, I'm choosing not to, so have a nice day. And then, uh, you know, she didn't respect that at first, so I just kept deleting the conversations, and she eventually stopped talking. So she can do whatever the fuck she wants to do, and bless their hearts, you know. Because they want her to be happy, and I'm happy for her and for them, they wrote an article about what they're going to do and how happy they're going to be. Let's go over that real fast, okay? It says, the holidays are upon us once again, blah, 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 blah. We'll be questioned about our relationship status. By having someone special to share it with. But single girls have a unique opportunity. Ah, there, see? Yeah, shit. You guys are missing out. You know, having, you know, being in relationships and, you know, settling down, especially at 33. You guys are missing out. What you really want to do, where the fun is at, is at being single. See? Single bitches, according to Witch's Coven magazine. All right? By having sp but singer girls have a unique opportunity to make the most of the holiday season. Should they choose to seize it, seize it. Go. I'm happy for you. Go ahead and seize it. Here's how you, as a single woman, can enjoy the holidays without feeling caught up in your relationship status. Create fun traditions with your friends. Holy shit! You can create some fun traditions with your friends. Okay. Wow. Maybe. Maybe. Stupid fucking Logitech. Yeah. Create fun traditions with your friends. Oh wow, like Friendsgiving and 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 Friendsmas and 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 what was it Dr Drinksgiving? Yay, it's Drinksgiving. Everyone's go after Drinksgiving. Fantastic. 
Who wants? Okay, so most of us think we're we think about all the wonderful couple traditions we're missing out on over the holiday season. Mistletoe kisses. I didn't. I could never write some shit. It's like they're owning themselves on purpose. It's like they're like, yeah, but we don't want this. All the things that we want, we actually don't want. We want to go be whores and get drunk. Most of us will think about. I, I could never write this shit. I'm telling you, we're missing out on the holiday season. Mistletoe kisses, attending parties as an item, snuggling up for a, for a romantic movie night in front of the fireplace, swapping lovey dovey presents, or baking cookies together. But who said you have to have a boyfriend in order to make to start making holiday traditions? As a single girl, you had the opportunity to start coming up with traditions with the people you already have around you and love. Don't leave me. If you leave me, I'll be single and miserable by myself. Don't leave me. How can you be happy? Why would you be happy without me? How could you? As a single, <laughs> it's like I said, why don't you have another glass of wine and write an article about it? And she was like, I'll have a bottle <laughs> or, or a box, right? A box, <laughs> two boxes later, <laughs> this fucker comes out. <laughs> Uh, and there's no time like the present to start these traditions. Throw a fun costume party, dressing up as characters from a classic holiday movie, have a cooking decorating contest, make some fancy holiday cocktails together, decorate mini trees, or go caroling, which they are probably never ever done. They threw it in just to make it sound like they're not whores. So, around October, which was a month and two weeks after I had gone to Manhattan to see her, and she basically refused to go out because she had a bad hair day and I hadn't let her friends rip off my smart contract blockchain technology shit, which I got by reading books and attending webinars, which are free and they could do too. They just want to tweet all day because they're losers. Okay. I'm not, like, you say bad, mean things. No, I'm not, I'm saying truthful things. Okay. They're on an app made for teenagers and they're living on it as adults. They're losers. That's what it is. I mean, like, if this was like World of Warcraft, they'd be like, you know, like, rank, title, gear. They'd have, like, all the best gear in the world because they're fucking little lap dogs for some, some fucking, you know, puppet on a string loser. But their guild is loser, right? What the fuck do you want me to do about it? My guild is free. My guild is don't tell me what to do. I don't have a bad time. Bags under my eyes, all right? Take opportunities to put yourself out there. Great. It's understandable to shudder at the thought of showing up at a holiday shindig or New Year's Eve party without a plus one surrounded by happy, overly affectionate couples who can't talk about anything but how they met, how in love they are, and how they've already planned summer road trips together. And that's bound to make anyone who isn't in a relationship feel the odd one out. Well, have another drink, you skanky hoe. So while you might want to stay home, instead of going to yet another holiday party that painfully highlights your singleness and possibly even sulk over your relationship status, try to see gatherings as an opportunity to have fun with your friends and maybe even meet a single guy who's in your same, I'm single but still want to make the most of the holiday season shoes, you might end up really hitting it off with him. Wow, wow. You're such a twat that you can't get away from your family. You have nothing better to do than be dragged along to your stupid, shitty family events also. You have no life and are incapable of having a career or any kind of a vision or a goal in life that you have no idea what it is to be an independent person also. Hmm. Let's try to make out behind the, 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 the couch while our grandparents are sleeping because we're 30 years old but still live with our parents. Fucking children. I swear to God. Ah, uh, the holidays always make us all that more aware. Get in the giving mood and volunteer. The holidays always give us, make us all the more aware of what we don't have, whether that's a warm and fuzzy family, extra money to buy gifts, or a place to return to call your home. And if you're single, a boyfriend is normally the first thing on your mind and will go to when recounting all the things you don't have. And it doesn't help if you have a family member that always likes to stylish comment on it too. I didn't write that. They wrote that.
And then, so like, uh, so basically, what they're saying is, they're like, hi, are you also so irresponsible that you look to your family and friends to do everything for you, including hand you a relationship because you are unhappy, which will not make you happy because it's being handed to you, okay? And are you only capable of drowning your sorrows and your shitty life in alcohol and random parties? Wow, you should write for Witch's Coven magazine. And you could be friends with Tiffany. I want her to be happy. That's the thing. I don't understand what the big deal. Now she can go have all her, you know, drinksgivings and all her, you know, friends parties. And I don't understand what the big deal is. Right? I mean, look, I was not stressed out at all in my life until about August. I still haven't even officially finished moving in here. Because as soon as I started to move in here, I started getting berated by someone I do not know and who does not want to get to know me, uh, uh, but for some reason insists on being... And look, the very first time this dumb bitch was like, I just want to be friends with you. I was like, I'm not looking for friends. And she was like, I want to get to know you better. And I was like, well, then you can either be my girlfriend or you can sell me drugs. What the fuck do you want from me, right? You want to get to know me better. Does your, you, if, you want to, if you want to get to know me better... We have to be dating, which means I'm going to have sex with you. Or you have to sell me drugs so I can smoke them later. I mean, like, that's pretty much the only way you're going to get to know me better. All right? So it's just aggravating. I don't want to deal with this shit. So go, go, look. I do not want to be associated with those grifter-ass loser punks. Okay? So. This is simple. This is a, 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 uh, a single point of failure. If she is intent on associating with those grifter-ass losers and losers who associate with those grifter-ass losers, I cannot associate. It's not, it's not an if, it's not a why, it's a I can't. I'm not going to, it's not, I, I refuse. It's already, it's out of my hands, not doing it, just not going to do it, all right? Just not going to do it, all right? So, this is the second time. This is the second time someone who's supposed to be dating me, who will not date me, uh, threw me under the bus for their shitty friends because I'm supposed to like them. So excuse me, if the world that I exist in doesn't involve using people who you're supposed to like and being like, like again, again, all right, I'm just, I, I just want to... Like, for a year and a half, I was in a upfront and honest, open, polyamorous, whatever the fuck you want to call it, right? I didn't even know you could do that shit, right? And you want to know what the end result was? I got one additional certification. I'm about to get a second one. Uh, got more theta staked, and I'm getting all my silver back when I had to take loans against it because the Biden economy. I improved my life, right? She got her degree in her search, and she's getting jobs. She's improving her life, right? Like, that, 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 that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be about people helping people improve their lives. The fuck is this dumb whore done for me? She hasn't done shit. She hasn't done shit, but interrupt me, right? Stop me from doing what I want to do. Demand I do things that I don't want to do. Demand I give away my... This dumb bitch. She was like, oh yeah? You accuse people of stealing all the time. Yeah? Where did you get these things from? I was like, my brain. This is one of the things in my inbox.
Okay, and you want to know something else? Why I think they're trying to have these grifter ass losers weasel their way somehow, some way into me through that stupid K-pop whore? Because now I'm seeing they always start off with the girls first because they're trying to build sympathy for the other losers. They're always like, oh, look, cybersecurity. It's the fastest growing, biggest need in blockchain crypto right now. Yeah, so the grifter ass losers are sick of getting hacked and they need someone who actually has credibility and knows what they're doing to give them some credibility. Fuck off. I'm sure you have no problem finding some grifter ass loser who's willing to use their certs and all that bullshit to give legitimize you losers. It ain't gonna be me. You can go fuck yourselves. I'm sure that in this lifetime, there is certainly enough posers in the planet to make that famous. I don't give a fuck. I'm not doing it. I'm gonna Ramza Bellu the fuck all over this place. And a thousand years from now, everyone's gonna find archives of me and be like, damn, that's why everything is still working nowadays. That's why we still exist right now. This motherfucker was the only one handling his business back in the day. Fuck you all, twatty ass losers. Alright? That's where I get the things I talk about from. Okay? I sign up to things and then I read them. Because as I said before, she got pissy at me. Like, how come you sit around all day? Well, now that I'm working one job, it's the more chill job. She's like, why don't you go in the office? Like, I don't have to go in the office. I don't have to do anything. I can just chill here and respond to the alarms and all that bullshit if, if and when I need to or within the time frame and all that bullshit. Why? It's because of the shit that I know. In cyber, you have to stay ahead of the game. That's why you have to recertify every three years. So you have to stay up to date. All right? Is it, this isn't some hoop I can jump through so I can put it on my profile and then beg for money for the rest of my life. That's called grifting. I am not a grifter. Sorry to pop your bubble. Not really. You can eat shit. Anyways. But no, I'm not... I, I Look, I'm not mad at her. I just don't want to deal with this drama. And I want to remind you that she's 33 years... She's not like 17... She's not 19. She's not like, oh, I need to save up and finish school so I can move out and be on my own. She's a motherfucking, supposedly, a millionaire, 33-year-old, who's flying all over the world in planes, right? But she can't make it to D.C. She can go to Paris, France, Singapore. She can't go to D.C., right? I'm supposed to go to fucking New York to get, to, to get, to get coffee with her. When I already did that and she had a bad hair day because I didn't want to let her retarded friend steal my ideas. So, what's your point? Okay. It's fucking stupid. But, uh, no, I'm... Now? That's the other thing. Tis Tiffany's sister, for a while, you were the reason. For a while, really, I was like, damn, if her sister is this much of a twat, I really don't know if I want to deal with any of this bullshit because it's only going to get worse going forward because it's, it's going to just, they're going to do more of this until I capitulate and I'm never going to capitulate. It's going to, it's to no one's benefit to have this continue because her sister is such a cunty twat. Look. Her sister basically started talking to me for Tiffany, and I, she's like retarded. I, I'm sorry, but she was like asking me trick questions, and I was like, this is an obvious trick question, and I explained it to her why it was a trick question, and she was like, I can't believe that I couldn't outsmart him, and I was like, I can't believe you asked me this shitty-ass stupid question. It's elementary. Get the fuck out of here with this shit. And then... She kept talking about planes. I was like, no, I was, I, was, I was like, hey, I'm trying to move. As in, like, I have my hands full of boxes and I'm trying to load shit up and move to another place. And she's like, oh, are the way to the airport with, with the planes? I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, you stupid hag? I'm moving, like, in a car. Planes? And then, uh, fuck, no bullshit. Like, the algorithm showed me that Girls' Generation had a video out. And I saw that Tiffany was on a plane. I was like crazy bitch, are you affiliated with K-pop? And then she went silent on me. And I was like, okay, you, what the fuck is this horse shit? Nothing but aggravation. But I don't need it. And you know what? I was, I, I, I was, I was willing to put up with it because I was like, you know what? In and of itself, that's not too bad because I can, I can, I can make this work. But then they try to slip into grifters. And no, hard stop. Everyone out. Done. Go fuck yourselves, right? 
But no. But now it's not her sister's fault. Because the shit I was saying about family's family and all that bullshit, I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to just suck it up and deal with it because that's her sister. You know, it's kind of like you just sit there and just close your eyes or look at her like in the, in that spot right here that way she thinks you're looking her in the eyes but you're not and just ignore her mentally and all that bullshit i can do that but no now what tiffany has to do is she gets to not has to she gets to because that's what she wants that's why they wrote an article about it right now what tiffany gets to do is tiffany gets to go to her sister's uh, christmas party and when her sister goes, sorry that I cost you having a boyfriend this year. I know that guy you were stalking for like two or three years who you finally sent to his DMs and who actually liked you back and didn't think you were that crazy. Just crazy enough to be, you know, probably excitable and whatnot. Uh, sorry that I ruined that for you. I know you really wanted that for like three years. I know you like you, you like wrote a song about it and all that bullshit. And now Tiffany can say, oh, don't worry about it. My older sister, who actually isn't that much of a cunt after all, in comparison, is probably doing the best she can do because I'm a handful and don't know what I want. And even when happiness is right in front of me, I throw it away. And because what I really want, what I really want to do is go have drinks giving with my friends in Manhattan. Then I want to go talk about cats and feed them cat food. Then I want to go to Paris and buy $20,000 pants then I want to come to these shitty Christmas parties at your place and I want you to find someone who can put up with my bullshit but only after they pass all of your retarded tests who this other dude already passed by accident because that's just how awesome he is. Because it actually wasn't your fault this time. It was my retarded ass, moronic, middle-aged, 40-year-old wine cat lady friends who wrote articles about it. That's what I want you to tell your sister. That's what she gets to tell her sister because that's what makes her happy. Drinksgiving and and friends tober and all that bullshit. All right. You you you, you gotta you, you gotta keep what you fight for. All right. So keep your friends. All right. Have a nice day, everybody.